Would you want to know the fastest and most reliable way to grow your business from 100k per year to 250k per year? Here's the thing. A lot of entrepreneurs making this mistake, they're jumping into scaling activities way prematurely. And scaling activities, this is what I mean by that. They start offering way too many offers. They're, they're, they're preparing their offer suite prematurely. Because, listen, all the way up to 250K, you are testing your messaging, you're growing your business, it's a growth period. But also, they're like, they're, the, your first big milestone is like your first 50K, then your first 100K, and then the next milestone is 250K. So let's say you cross 100K, how to get to 250K. And it's your messaging, and it's your core center offer, and this is premium, working with premium audience for the premium price with a premium offer. So let's dive into each section um, of that uh, order. So the first component in your business that you should have in place if you're growing from 100K to 250K, and by the way, even if you're growing your business from zero to 100K, then the first component to attract more customers, you need to make more sales. First 50K, you need to more, make more sales. Like 100K to 200K, you need to make more sales. Your, your number one activity is client acquisition. Client acquisition, closing clients, making offers, selling offers. And when you are in this position, when you are at 100K per in your business, maybe 120K, maybe 150K, and you're growing to 250k, your messaging is essential. Because the next milestone will be determined by the quality of the customer that you are attracting, by the quality of the offer that you are offering, by the quality of the sophistication and the level of sophistication of the solutions that you are providing. This is essential. And the core, pe the core piece to attract the right people to your, to your offer is your messaging. The core component to position your offer in the right way is your messaging. By the way, on Monday, um, we were talking about why your offer is not selling. And, the, like, and your offer is not, a lot of the time, your offer is not selling because of your messaging. This episode is sponsored by my private mentorship program, Heart and Profit Mentorship Program. Listen, if you're looking for help with your offer positioning, meaning you want to sell offer that people actually want, actually need, and ready to buy, you are working on your authority, meaning you want to get invited to stages, to conferences, to podcasts, because listen, not to brag, but all of my clients, all of them, yes, 100% of my clients get speaking engagements on podcasts, conferences, you name it. Also, if you're looking for help with your sales goals, um, I review your sales goals. And by the way, if you're not recording your sales goals, you should start recording your sales goals, just free coaching tip. So I help you with your sales goals, with your consultative sales to close more clients. Also, I heard that you are looking for accountability in a person who can help you with your mindset with um, just have a trusted advisor in your business. I'm here for it. To apply for my private mentorship program is super easy and simple. Check out the show notes if you're listening to it on a podcast or check out the description for this video if you're watching this as a YouTube video fill out the form there will be a link to schedule a call with me it's a quick link quick uh form so fill out the form i will review the form within 24 hours 24 to 48 hours and also don't hesitate to send me a dm on linkedin and on instagram whatever platform you prefer and start a conversation with me all right back to the show a lot of the time you're attracting the, right, uh, the wrong people to your offer because of your messaging so working on the messaging, how you position your offer 
And what is messaging? A messaging is when you talk to uh, your customers at the level of over, over awareness they're where they're at. You're helping with your content, with your conversations, with your um, w with your community engagement. You are helping them to make a buying decision, basically, and you're guiding them from problem unaware to most aware. There are five stages: problem unaware, problem aware, solution aware, product aware, most aware. We can simplify a lot of entrepreneurs simplify into three categories, problem unaware, problem unaware, problem aware, solution aware. So, but there are five stages. So, and your messaging will help them to move forward through those, through those um, levels of awareness. And also your messaging will help your audience to self-qualify. Because listen, we also talk about, I also dropped a podcast episode and a YouTube video uh, where we talked about that, how, how to qualify leads. And, a lot, and the lead qualification problem can be solved with your messaging. When people understand that you're not for them, they will not book a call with you. Sometimes people do not understand that you're not for them because your messaging is not delivering the right message to the people. Hence, you are in that with a lot of unqualified leads, people who cannot afford or, or n neither can implement your solution quite fairly. And any money, good money. So the messaging piece is really important. Number two, this is that I see a lot. I understand that on the way to 250K, from especially from um, 100, uh, 100K to 150K, we, we do a lot of testing. We do a lot of testing. We test our messaging, we test our audience, we, we find the market fit, and th this is normal. I just wanna say that it is normal. If you're not getting your audience the right, like right away, if you're not getting your offer like at the get go, if it's if it's not working fast enough as you want it, it's completely normal. You are t like it's research and development. Okay, you're doing your research and development. Okay, do I want to sell more? Um, elementary offer, like people at the beginning of their journey, whatever you're selling, either you're a career uh, coach, either you're a fitness coach, either you are um, um, consultant or mentor, or do I want to go higher? And a lot of a lot of the time, we are afraid to go higher because of our imposter syndrome. We are we are not confident in ourselves that we can go higher. We're not confident in our pricing that we can charge higher prices, okay? So, but this is like, this is, this is your, you're pivoting your messaging. And uh, the best way to pivot your messaging is to test one component at a time. Because a lot, when a lot of entrepreneurs, um, with the mistake that a lot of entrepreneurs are making right now, they're making huge pivots, huge shifts, a lot up, and then sell, uh, non, I need to sell something else. They pivot like, 360 and then it's not selling again and then they pivot again 360 and it's not selling listen it takes time and learn how to enjoy the process this this is something that i'm learning in my business that because we as entrepreneurs we will fail more than other people will try let me say it again as entrepreneurs we will fail more than other people will even try and let's enjoy the process. Listen, if you don't enjoy the if you don't enjoy the process of testing your messaging, testing your audience, testing your offers, like why why are you in the ownership? Listen, it's okay. It's okay if it's not working out from the get go. It's okay if it takes several times, several tries, try again and again and again and again, and finally it's not working. Also, front and center offer. Make the main thing the main thing. It's essential because a lot of entrepreneurs that like I talk online uh, with, um, they sell multiple solutions, multiple offers. The worst case scenario is for multiple audiences. Listen, don't get me started on that. Well, I sell in multiple solutions for multiple audiences is a marketing nightmare, okay? And just a marketing nightmare. It takes about like it listen, it takes about twenty one touch overall, seven hours to spend with you 
to buy one hour for seven hours to spend with you, either on your podcast, on your live streams, on your on with your content, consuming your long form content. And then after that, it takes probably between seven to twenty one touches, so pe person can make a buying decision for one offer. Imagine you're selling five. Imagine you're selling two. It's a not, it's a marketing. If you don't have the team, and at a hundred k per year, you probably can afford to hire a large team that will help you with that robust messaging. So one front and center offer. Okay, maybe you're in this situation, like okay, Eugene, but like I actually have multiple offers, and multiple offers make me money. This is how I got to a hundred k. This is how I am very close to two hundred k. So I don't want to lose money. I don't want to leave money on the table. What should I? What should I do? Do really thorough analysis of your offers. How do you how do you determine what is your flagship? What is your one front and center offer? Number one, income factor. What what is the offer that makes you the most amount of money? Number two, joy factor. What offer do you enjoy the most? Number three, alignment factor. What is the offer that you are most aligned with? And when you have all three, you have heart with profit. You have the offer that you create from your heart and make profit with the right strategy. It is a dream, and it is possible. But also, I want to I want to make this caveat. Also, we are often pass. We often sell that what we are passionate about, and it's okay to have passions. But not every passion needs to be monetized. Sometimes you need to sell offer that you love you and you're with alignment with, and it comes from heart, and it's not necessarily your main passion, but it's a line offer. You like your offer. You should love your offer. If you don't love your offer, don't sell it because eventually you will you you are going to burn out. Eventually, it stops selling because you can't show up a hundred percent as you, authentically, boldly, in alignment, spirit led. Okay, so something that you love is something that is in alignment and like in congruency with you. Okay, or in congruence rather. But also, maybe that offer that is profitable will fuel your passion. Maybe you are passionate about educating underrepresented groups how to start their businesses from zero to the I don't know, like to first hundred k. People who cannot afford coaching programs, people who cannot afford. Um, expensive mentorship. Solve rich people problem first. People who can afford it, and then fuel that, and then start nonprofit. You can fuel your passion from the profit of your business, but it comes from core and center offer, offer that you like, offer that is in alignment, offer offer that like comes with heart from the spirit. And it's absolutely doable. It's absolutely possible to do, and it's a, like it's a market fit. And now,、um, I don't know about you, but this is the data that I'm getting from my clients. This is the data that I'm getting from my business. For the love of everything, sell premium offer to premium audience. Let me say it again. Sell the premium offer to premium audience. Listen, just because you are new to entrepreneurship, just because you are doing entrepreneurship for like I don't know two or three years, and you think that you are too junior, too inexperienced in entrepreneurship, it doesn't mean that you should sell low ticket offer. 
And does it mean that you should sell just $97 membership? And does it mean that you should discount your services? You have the expertise. You have the expertise. You might be new to running your business, and it's a, it's a, it's something that you're learning right now. But then, like you have the expertise, premium offer, and also, let me connect with premium offer with the premium messaging. Your price is a part of your messaging. Your part is a part of your messaging. Alex Hermosi in one of his books. Um, I I have huge respect for Alex. Not a fan, but I gotta I gotta give credit what the credit is due. And he provides really this example in one of in one of his books, where uh, there was a test. The same wine was given to people, and one group of people was told that that wine was a premium level wine and the uh, at the very expensive price. And another people and another group of people was told that um, that wine was a you know like cheap wine from your on a liquor store grocery store. The group that was told that it was expensive wine described that wine as a premium wine because the price that they were told that it cost influence how they perceive the value of the offer. So your price, your price, how you price your services, it's a part of your messaging. Listen, if you are selling, I don't know, like building wealth for $1,500, how to be CEO for $1,500, you're like you are basically you are trying to sell premium premium level wine at the price of Walmart, and it's not how it works. And people don't see it as a premium offer. In fact, uh, let me give you an example. Um, I had a call um, with a person, and uh, I dropped the price. I said, "Hey, like um, this is the price," and. Uh, that person said, you know what, like, this is so cheap. I don't think it's the right fit for me. I'm looking for a more sophisticated offer. Like, I'm like, I'm sophisticated business person, and I'm looking for more sophisticated solution. As my offer was sophisticated solution for them, yes. Can I get them to the next level 100%? They didn't see it because of the price of the offer. They didn't see it. They didn't buy it because of the price of the offer. Listen, I don't get the objection often when people say, like, oh, that's too cheap. Um, but your price for your services might deter people from your offer, even in this economic climate. And a lot of premium buyers, they want to buy the other people cannot afford because they want to be in a certain in a certain group of people to network with. And this is the major complaint that I hear from other coaches. Like, I want to be in a club. I want to be in a community that is the next at the next level of the financial income at their like at the level of sophistication. And they will pay premium price for that because premium community is normally sold at the premium price. You may not like the fact that you know the price is a deciding can be deciding factor of the uh, offer sophistication, but it is what it is. Premium offer for premium audience. Premium offer for premium audience. Okay, so listen. If you're growing your business to 250k, if you want to get to that standardization level, because when you once you hit 250k, then baby, it's like it's exciting time. You start like you start um, standardizing your business. You start. It's a period of standardization. And it's exciting. If you want to get to that level of standardization, like you don't want to do it alone. I don't want to do it alone. Listen, if you're looking for a private mentor to 
help you with messaging, with offer positioning, and listen, like quite honestly, with pricing too, like listen, we need to re- we, we need to up our prices effectively, ethically, wisely. Because listen, it's not just about like just add zero. It's not about just um flip the number. Like you can you can price your offer whatever you want. But it's important to do it wisely, okay? Wisely. So if you need help, if you need that support through individual private mentorship, my doors are open. Check out the description notes. Check out the video description if you're on YouTube and there's a link to book a call with me and book a call with me. I would like to talk to you. Also, like, listen, if you know me, you know my DMs are open. Uh, I'm open for a conversation. I love having conversations with y'all. Send me a DM. Send me a DM on LinkedIn. Send me a DM on Instagram, whatever platform you prefer. Okay, let's recap. Messaging, how to grow to 250K. Messaging, crucial. Messaging is important. Attracting the right people at the right, at the right level of awareness is important. Amen. Amen. Number two, core and center offer. Listen, it's a marketing nightmare to sell many offers. If you don't have the operational capacity to market many offers as you mean it, please hear me loud and clear. It's a marketing nightmare. Number three, premium offer for premium audience. And not forget to love your offer. Your offer should be your in, in, in alignment and it should be your calling. Or maybe that offer will fuel your calling. And maybe your calling and your offer there are somehow connected and, 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 and you need help to figure out how to find my passion, how to find my alignment, how to find my calling with my offer. I'm here to help. The link is in the show notes, video, description, what name you, what have you. Let's have a conversation. Book a call with me today. All right. Until next time.